Something is most definitely brewing as we speak right now, guys. What's happening? Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. XRP is around 62 cents. We had a pump just recently, guys. Today, right? XRP was moving up. Bitcoin just ranging for the next leg, guys. I'm hoping it's upwards. Now, something... I don't know guys, something has to be brewing here, right, for the month of April because look what's happening here. Check this out guys. Now, supposedly, right, spotted Brad Garlinghouse and Sue Alderodi at the federal courthouse in New York today. Settlement talks? Hmm. Right, what's going on here guys? Look at Brad Garling, uh, Garlinghouse. And if you go up here though, from Ashley, there is a settlement conference taking place in the New York federal courts between Ripple and the SEC. Guys, 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 what's happening here? I'm telling you, for XRP to bring back, for them to bring back life into XRP, guys, something unexpected would have to occur, right? Where it would have to come at a time where no one is expecting it, guys, right? Overnight, per se. So, uh, um, last updated March 29, 2024. Look at that, 3.10 p.m. Um, so basically, assigned to Annalisa Torres, referred to Sarah Judge, uh, Netburn, and then Citation Securities and Exchange Commission versus Ripple Labs. Um, basically, nature of suit securities commodities. But look at this, guys. Settlement conference, right? The description is settlement conference today. Right, so it just happened a couple hours ago, I'm guessing. Um... First things first, let's go to Brad Garlinghouse if you tweeted about anything, guys, recently or liked anything, right? He's at 589, uh, 588 following. Hmm. He needs to follow another person, guys. Now, what's even crazier, guys, is this right here. So, check this out. This is insane. According to Court Listener, there was a quote-unquote settlement conference scheduled for today, March 29th, guys. Ripple gave me a nothing-to-share comment on the matter. Wait, What? Hold on a minute, guys. Is something brewing here? This is probably the meeting that was scheduled to take place prior to the April 16th pre-trial conference. We knew about this meeting in October, although there was no scheduled date. Looks like it took place today. Wow. Interesting, guys. Prior to the final pre-trial conference, counsel for both parties along with the parties themselves shall meet in person for at least one hour to discuss settlement of this matter. Wow. Wow, 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 guys, indeed, right? But maybe we could figure it out because the one metric I'm really interested in finding out is how long did this meeting last? Wait a moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. This is awfully strange. I knew it. So this meeting took place around when XRP was around 63 cents or so, guys, okay? Now we are dumping. But look what happened yesterday or the morning of today, guys, right? Look at this. XRP pumped 5%. Why? Right? Before something comes out, guys, they're going to buy in. They're going to front run some type of news. Always, always, always. Unless they're price protecting X price protecting XRP because they knew Bitcoin was going to dump, guys. Right? So now if it was only for the mandatory one hour, guys then we know it's a nothing burger. But if it lasted three hours or more, then we know the discussions were substantive and important. Um, that would hint at potential pro uh, progress being made towards settlement, okay? But then someone else commented, hold on, hold on, guys. Well, the fact that Brad bothered attending also shows importance. Usually CEO, usually the CEO leave, leaves settlement to the lawyers. Wow, I used to, guys. Hmm insane stuff right so i don't know so i don't know guys but something could be brewing with xrp right something something unexpected guys I, I don't know there's a strange feeling out there and plus we see quote unquote settlement talks and whatnot guys um or perhaps it actually is coming true but i'll just watch out if xrp pumps high guys just like that there's def there's <laughs> they're, they're definitely whoever's in the know is definitely front running some type of news and i'm in guys um chris larson absolutely nailed it right so look at what so look at what um Chris Larson states, Gary Gensler likes the, that lack of clarity so that he could go after anybody and makes up the rules as he goes along through bullying. Crazy stuff. Check this out. That, the judge really admonished the SEC 
uh, really called them out in a way that you don't really see very often. I think it's just more proof that Gary Gensler's uh, decision of sort of engaging this regulation by enforcement, rather than getting clear laws, he knows they're not clear. He just likes that. Well, remember, for something brand new to come into place, guys, there ha there are, there's always um, some type of force against it, right? Um, but in the in the end, guys, the who prevails, the good guys. Lack of clarity, so that he can go after anybody and make up the rules as he goes along through bullying, and that's not the American way. This should be a Congress. We should have clear rules from the legislatures, not through these sort of unelected, power-hungry, and really misplaced decision makers that you see in Gary Gensler. That, there we go, guys. So let's. I, I don't know. I, I'm just excited, right? Now, check this out though, because SEC XRP payment theory plot twist. Who says Ripple has to sell XRP to pay the SEC fine? Wasn't this all about? always about getting their dirty hands on some of that escrow, right? Let's listen to this, but then there's a Riddler connection, guys, here in a bit. All right, a couple, all right, a couple things. One, Gary Gensler has done us a service by having those MIT courses uh, publicly mm, available. Mm, yeah. And in one of those courses, he said that if you want to move in to the banking world, the legacy, the, the legacy banking system, the monopoly, you got to like pay up like in the mob. You've got to, you know, pay the mob, Don, of the, the other family if you want to enter into a new market. And so this is what the fine looks like to me is they've conceded that XRP is going to be used and they're like, right. we want our, our kickback, like right. an, an organized crime. Now, this will be the interesting thing that people haven't really discussed. Like, all right, so I don't think Ripple's going to have to pay $2 billion because yeah. they have very good lawyers that will hopefully negotiate on their behalf. Let's even say they had to pay a billion dollar fine. Right, right. What do you think they're going to pay that fine in? Mm. XRP. Right. So the <laughs> cartel's like, we wanted 50% of the XRP in the beginning. If you had just given us half, like wow. we asked, and we wouldn't have wow. given you our time, but you didn't really want to be controlled by the mob, so you said no. Wow. But now at the end of it, we're still going to take our cut if you would like us to get out of the way and let you do your thing. Ah, uh, they want our precious gold. I right liquid gold guys interesting that was always the case as the riddler stated why because now guys are throwing part of xrp in the xrp community now does this go why interesting from ripples and whales it bet um i bet it was always the plan the sec want wants that beautiful xrp exactly it seems as right but remember whoa 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 wait a moment because the hand that's giving out their xrp it's purple right i'm guessing ripple but it's the same color over here, guys, right? The opposing hand, so to speak. They're in the same team. Come on, guys. Which just means this whole thing is a show, right? Is that a camera there as well? Sure seems to me like a show. Um, this is the perfect time. And, and we're seeing Charles uh, Gasparino come back come back into the play, guys, right? I think he stopped talking about the XRP community for some time. But now he's coming back and saying... <laughs> And saying 164 cents, sad, huh? <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. I mean, to me, it doesn't matter because it's just funny, right? But while there's so much fun, this would be the perfect opportunity to to literally melt faces. Why? Because charting guy tweets out XRP, XLM, Litecoin are all are all are about to pull are all about to pull a 2017. Guys, look at that, right? So something will definitely spark one news for one coin, guys, and the other coins that are laggards are going to pump with XRP, I'm guessing, right? Now, XRP is days away from our first monthly close outside of our wedge. Wow, that's insane, guys. I can't believe my face, right? This is ridiculous. Look at this insane consolidation phase since 2018. Nowhere to go but up, and now we broke out, guys. It's going to be the first monthly close above um, the the resistance line, right? Above this triangle, which means it's about to be explosive. You guys ready? I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. XRP is looking like the last buying opportunity before it takes off. Remember, 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 remember. The sentiment is going downwards. Price is actually staying above or going higher, guys. What does that tell you? There's a divergence happening, right? At some points, price will keep going higher and the people who are sad will become happy again. This is crazy, guys. Right now, this chart as well. This looking. This is probably nothing, guys. Look at that. All charts are saying XRP to go nowhere but up. XRP on the monthly time frame, stronger week. Beautifully, it looks beautiful to me. Why? Touch point one, two. A third one's incoming, guys. Either in the third one we're going to break through, or we're going to come back down a little and then break through after. I'm hoping for that breakthrough on the again. Everything happens by one, two. Three. One, two, three. Right, there's time to charm. Hmm. Now even this chart, guys, uh, 
2017, right uh, when XRP was exploding, I'm guessing that's XRP. Look at how it's following. Look at how it's following right now, guys. XRP moving, right? It's looking really identical, isn't it? If this is a case, if this is a case in April, early April, we should see a 73 cents XRP. Let's see. Um, as well as this, guys. This is XRP versus gold. Okay, gold is about a plummet, right? Um, it's oh, so basically XRP is about a, about to outperform gold. And it did back in 2017 as well, guys, right? It looks very similar indeed. So let's see. More beautiful news, guys. If you guys are trying to buy XRP, look what's happening here at Uphold, right? I do have an Uphold a feeling now. Sure, when you try to open an institutional account on Uphold, here's one of the screens you're presented with. Check out the option at the bottom, right? Ripple Payments. I'm a Ripple Payments uh, customer and have been directed here to open an account. Wow, right? They're going through Uphold for on-demand liquidity. Hold on. Looks like Uphold is becoming a new on-demand liquidity partner processing payments from the United States and the UK using Ripple Payments, ODL. Ripple or Uphold has operations both in the United States and the UK. Guys, there we go. Exchanges going through exchanges. This is insane, guys. Who would have thunk, right? Who would have thought that's a possibility? But it sure seems it is like it is, guys, right? Uphold is the, the balloon, right? The Riddlers. Um, as I think the Riddlers suggested, guys, it's a balloon. The green balloon, right? It flies up. I'm guessing that's why they're partnered, right? Uphold and Ripple. Fascinating connections. Then, guys, it gets even more interesting by the second. Because Big Short came out yesterday. Good afternoon, right? Good evening. What's happening here, guys? Because good afternoon, good evening, and good night. That's one, that's two, and three. Right? Is something about to happen? That bit that was Big Short's 328th tweet. Today's 328 as well. Hmm. Right. Maybe we should expect the unexpected because 923 we could go as 329, right? Which is today. Expect the unexpected, guys. Wow. He then states Gov Trap. Right. Timestamp April 8th eclipse day. Wow. 48. Look at that, guys. Pay attention, right? Um. Inevitable as well. 49. Interesting. But what's inevitable? I'm guessing XRP's price going higher, guys, upwards. Um, it's a different type of pain. What could that be, though? Right? So it's very um, cryptic here, guys. If you go to this tweet, some people have their own twist to, to this tweet. It's a different type of pain, right? It's going to be extremely painful for, Bit for Bitcoin and Ethereum axis to watch XRP blow past them to become the standard. And then someone else tweeted, translation XRP won't hit all-time high until banks are ready. I guess we'll have to see. I, Hopefully, guys, it does create a new all-time high here soon. Now, the Fountain Protein Zero comes from Bob Cox PSA for, the, for those complaining about Ripple dumping on you, right? That can be done in... So however much they dumped, he then says... One second with a bank transaction. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a rounding number. If you think... One billion or eight billion dollars is a lot of money. You have clue what the world is. And 1.6 quadrillion every single year, just DTCC alone. And you're worried about a couple billion dollars. Get out of here. You have no idea what you're invested in. Exactly, guys. I mean, they don't. The thing is, prices are controlled. So wherever they want prices to go, it will go, guys. We don't control anything at the end of the day within the markets. Not nah, nature wise. Let's see what happens next. I mean, I'm actually extremely excited. Let's go. What do you say, Sophia? Amazing. See you.